running for us. Then I'm the macho like Randy. The club will go out to the ground. You make a pillow, you ban it. The killers understand it. For everyone, the want that is bad. What you will want, we do not know. We shall know. Some want to follow things that move. To watch and slink and wait and spring. To kill and bite. Bite deep and rich. Sucking the blood. It is bad. Not to chase other men, that is the law. Are we not men? Nothing. 
something else left for us. You can poke out your eyes. You can cover your head. You won't forget what you saw here. There must be some way out. <laughs> Every day, someone is skinned. Their arms, legs, tongue, ripped out. Human remains. Nothing more. She derives pleasure from it. Sometimes I hear her laughter. Inside my head. What she sees in this pale skinned body. Even his bones are not that hard. So fragile. God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. Leave him, Jonathan. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. By the sacred stole, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned the dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Very well. I'll help you. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Rest assured, I will protect you and your staff. McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You, you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this.
Welcome to London 1918, as we leave Pembroke Hospital, a sacred ground where the vampires and the guard operate in harmony. You're Dr. Jonathan Reed, and you're searching for somebody who threatens to dismantle that harmony in Dotnod's narrative-driven action RPG, Vampire. Exploring London, talking to her citizens will reveal hints about the location of your objectives, but you'll have to earn them by playing with the delicate social microcosms that tie the survivors of the Spanish flu and vampire societies together. Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. Welcome back, Doctor. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? The important thing is I find him. Quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. So we're now en route to the docks to find Sean and understand why he's fled away from the hospital and probably killed another patient, Harriet Jones. As a vampire, you have access to skills in combat as well as outside of combat, often to help you traverse a semi-open world. The most efficient way to grow stronger is to feed from the healthy, not to fight those risking the flu and pollution in the streets to hunt vampires and skulls. If we were unable to beat this mini-boss, we would be tempted to return to the bar, and perhaps feed from Tom for a greater experience boost, returning stronger, but with London thinning in numbers. Vampire's combat system uses a mix of melee and ranged weapons supported by vampire abilities that allow you to be the vampire you want to be. The gameplay is based on timing, positioning, and management of different resources. The stamina bar regulates your melee moves and dodges, the blood bar controls the use of your supernatural abilities, and the health bar represents your health. There are many areas to explore, loot, and pick up information to learn about the world, its lore, and what happened to London since disease spread. At the beach, we're fighting people operating under the head of the Vampire Hunter's orders. The Pruin guards are investigating this beach, searching for Skulls. Stay close, keep an eye on each other. Skulls are a lesser species of vampires lurking in quarantine areas, underground or in dark corners. Due to the Spanish flu epidemic, they have suffered heavy mutations and have recently become very aggressive. It's part of your quest to understand how they became such creatures and ultimately find a cure to save them. In this world, the human vampire hunters and Skulls are having their own fight. As long as we don't get too close, we can just move on. Sean is a saint who manages a night asylum to provide food and rest to the poorest. Unfortunately, he has recently turned into a skull. You believe that, incapable of dealing with his new condition, he has fled from the hospital where sacred ground and murdered Harriet Jones, an old woman who certainly didn't deserve it. Most importantly, he is the pillar of the Dock community, which means he's a very important character whose fate will deeply impact the district and everyone who lives within it. Our exploration, social manipulation, and skills in combat have led us to where Sean has been hiding. We must find out the truth about the hospital's murders, and ultimately decide his fate, and the fate of those who rely on him. Cursed be the choice. Welcome back, Dr. Reed. Would you like to take communion with me now? Are you eating raw flesh? It is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. Our Lord's bountiful transmutation for the sustenance of his believers.
Thank you, Lord. I am your most humble servant. So, true to your word, you waited for my return. I told you, Dr. Reed. I was a man to be trusted. Did you have words with the poor Harriet? This shelter is the tip of the iceberg. You hide your game well, I'll give you that. We are God's children, Dr. Reed. One and all. And he's determined to save us. Harriet, Miss Jones has been behaving in a most violent manner. She's going to need special attention. That's precisely the reason I brought her here. To meet old Bridget. She's the guide Harriet requires. Harriet is possessed by her hatred. You cannot let her roam free. She's dangerous. She has joined her own kind, Doctor. Old Bridget is a saint to the younger Skulls, guiding them to salvation and peaceful existence. I believe I've learned all I need to know. I'm certain you've killed no one, but one day I believe you'll cross the line. <sighs> Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. What do you mean? We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the instruments of his divine will. We shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your urges and kneel before the Lord in praise. These urges, you know the hunger will never be satisfied. I've come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrament. Take, eat. This is my body. So saith the Lord. He was right. It all looks completely untouched. Ben, something's not right. I'm seeing a massive radiation spike down there. She's waking up. In Echo, you must survive the strange workings of the palace. It studies everything you do, everything you are, to use it against you. What is this? That's you, Em. The Echoes are exact copies in every way. They behave like you, and only do the things you do. So it's the way you play the game that shapes your enemy. Every interaction, every movement, has consequence. But it's only once your behavior diverges enough from the current echoes, and the palace reboots, that the echoes will be updated. So when the light returns, you'll be facing its newest version of you. Reborn with all the choices you made in the last cycle. They learn from me. They do what I do. The palace watches everything you do in the light. But in the darkness, as it reboots, it is blind, and you are free to act without consequence. The only way the Echoes never change is that they'll always want to kill you, but you decide which tools they have at their disposal. If you cease to do something, so will they after the next blackout. 
always stay a step ahead of the Echoes. And keep a cool head if you want to survive the palace.